Welcome to StatPro Training. First, let us understand the organization of StatPro screen. This is the first screen of StatPro. Here you have project tasks. Here you have recent files. And this is the license configuration setup. And this is the area where you have the help topics. And if you are connected to the internet, you will get start news from Bentley. Now, here you are supposed to say new project. Let me say that. So this is a screen that we get initially. Now here we have four options. Start space, plane, floor and truss. We will see start plane as of now. That means we will start with 2D problems. So 2D means it will have X and Y axis. It's a plane. So we'll start with start plane. So I have make this option. The file name let me give as example one. The location I'll take the default location, this location. Or if you want to change the location, you can pick some drive and say OK. Now this will be saved in C directory. Now these are the length units and this is the force units. So by default you have meters and kilonewtons. I'll retain that and I will say next here. So here we have taken start plane because the problem we are going to solve is 2D. This is the file name. This is the location. These are the length units and this is the force units. We'll say next. Now where do you want to go? So we wanted to add beams and draw the structure initially. So this will be by default. So for the entire training program, this will be same. And let us say finish after this. Here you have finish. Pick this. Now this is the screen we have. Now this is the model area where we will draw the model. And this is the main page. This is the modeling tree what you have. Here you have five options. That is setup, geometry, general, analysis and design. So when you pick setup, we got an option here job. That is you have one sub option in setup. And the information concerned the job is given here on the right side screen. So this is job information for any project. You can give a job name, client name, job number, revision number, part number, reference number and your name and the comment of the project or any assumptions that you are making within this project. And now next is geometry. Here you have many options in geometry. By default when you pick geometry, beam is highlighted. That means we are as of now in beam and the right side screen is concerned to the one highlighted in this column. So the beam is highlighted here. This right side screen is concerned to beam. Now if you see we are in general because you can see that this is highlighted and again in general you have many options like property, spec, support and so on. Now in all these sub options the property is highlighted and so the right side screen what we see here is concerned to the one highlighted here and if I pick this this is concerned to the one highlighted here that is support and here you see the pull down menus this is file related edit related view related and some tools and some select commands and some geometry commands and other commands and then analyze mode window and help so these are all pull down menus under each menu you will have different commands so this is called the menu bar in any windows based applications this kind of menu bar is quite common and then you have various toolbars here you can understand the name of the toolbar once you drag it and put that in a floating mode so this is file toolbar you can again dock it and this is print toolbar 
and you can dock it again so the name of the toolbar will be displayed once you put that in a floating mode so these are all various toolbars in every toolbar you'll have different icons every icon will have certain operation this is view from positive Z this is display whole structure so every icon has got a purpose it is a command now this is again a different toolbar where we pick the geometry by using these tools or where we draw the geometry by using these tools and this one is something important this is results toolbar once we analyze the problem we will go to post processor and we will see the results like axial force shear forces bending moments stresses and so on so this is the results toolbar this anyway I'll just take this and place it here so that the screen gets maximized now here we have set up so by default initially you are supposed to enter all these details but for the training purpose we will not give these details but for a project you are supposed to key in all these details and when you open STAD when you say file new plane meters and kilonewtons next and if you say finish by default will be in geometry and beam now this is the kind of grid we have you can make it straight something like this and here you see two pointers one a plus and one an into into is a cursor and the solid plus which is waiting for you to draw something that is if you draw anything now you can use this grid and draw any beams or columns of course this I'm drawing at random so the exact problem what we're going to draw we'll see in the next file Thank you.